Okay, my guest is Nozomi Kawarazuka, yes. uh, who lead, is a, leads on the ACR-funded project Integrating Gender and Social Inclusion into Agricultural Value Chain Research in Vietnam. Nozomi, great to meet you. How are you finding this Seeds of Change conference? That's wonderful. I meet many different peoples and exchange experience, so I'm so happy to attend this conference. Tell me about your Japanese, yes. but you're working in Vietnam. Yes. How did this come about? Tell me about your whole pathway to the work you're now doing. Uh, I used to work in Kenya, Africa, as an NGO worker. But it, Africa was very far away from my home, home country, and I was more interested in Asian context to think about gender. So I was looking for the work that I can be based in. Uh, Asia. Mm. So what are the issues in agricultural research in Vietnam when it comes to gender and social inclusion? What, what are the big issues? We have two big issues. First, it's about, uh, more about social inclusion. There are many ethnic minorities, they are left behind. So there is a lot of gaps uh, between majority and ethnic minorities. So we have to understand uh, ethnic minorities' needs and interest and their cultural understanding in relation to agriculture. That must be a huge job. Yes, it's a big job, but very challenging and interesting. You're participating in a round table at this conference and it's entitled True Grit, yes. Impacts of Gender Research Integrated Training Program. Tell me about this training program. A uh, training program was held uh, last past two years. So I was a post postdoctoral uh, gender researcher, so there was a relationship between CGIAR and University of Penn State who supported us uh, to work on gender in agriculture because we are all uh, junior position and so isolated. So many CGI researchers focus on agriculture and biophysical scientists while we are social scientists working on gender. So that was a great opportunity for us to work together in Penn State to think about how gender matters in agricultural research and how we can uh, influence biophysical scientists. And has the program had an impact? I think the impact is not very clearly visible because the impact was more about ourselves, inside of ourselves, that now we have more confidence we know how to deal with biophysical scientists. We have many different tools to use, so that's the impact outcomes will come after a few years. So it goes to confidence, really, yes, does it? Yes, okay. that was the most important thing, yes. Mm. Has agricultural research in Vietnam been seen mainly as a job for men? Uh, in the past, agriculture was seen as a main job for men. However, currently, there are lots of migrations going on, especially men go out, both international and domestic migrations. So it's increasingly becoming women's jobs. And how have you been greeted as a Japanese researcher coming into a different culture? Um, how has that been, that transition? I think uh, this is an advantage for me to work in the different context because I cannot see real gender issues in my own countries because that is very natural, but I'm an outsider in Vietnam, so I can uh, more uh, able to see the gender relations and differences. And also Vietnamese really like Japanese and I'm so much respected by Vietnamese farmers, so I, I'm very happy to work in well, Vietnam. Well, that's, that's fantastic yes. to hear. And are you seeing change? Are you seeing changing attitudes? Uh, for farmers? Yes. Yes, I, we really see first time when we approach to the farmers and local agricultural researchers, they were a bit, don't want, you know, don't worry, we have no gender issues in this village. We are equal. <laughs> but we, we it, it, it took time for us to build relationships. But now everybody understands gender and farmers, even male farmers, accept and respect women to be they are involved in our agricultural project. How important has ACR been for your career? 
I think ACR gave me a huge opportunity to work on gender in agriculture. In this project, I was able to deal with many different value chain projects of ACIAR, like mango, cassava, vegetables. So in this relationship, that really expand my networks. And I learned a lot from ACR partners and researchers, Australian researchers. What would you like to see happen in Vietnam in agriculture with research with farmers? What would be a great result for you? I think currently in Vietnam, agriculture is even not considered as a job. It's very sad because that, um, that doesn't generate much incomes. So I really hope that agriculture can be a great opportunity for, for them as a great income income generating activities to link to the high value market access, access to the market. Mm. I can see why you're making such inroads, mm. uh, Nozomi. Mm. Dr. Nozomi Kawazuka, mm. um, fantastic to meet you and thank you very much. Thank you. Mm.